Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So today we are putting together our Triforce pieces. But I suppose I'm already on outside and realize that, so I should run some errands here that I'm gonna have to run later regardless. So we have two empty bottles here. I wanna go refill that with soup really quick. Don't hit the door! God damn it. So yeah, this is the best regen item in the game, so we wanna make sure we have this. Soup. Yes, please. Give me some soup. Hell yeah! Elixir soup. Uh, we're gonna want that later. This is gonna get pretty rough here in the near future. So I would like to have that on my ready here. And the two helpings is really the best part of it. Because I can get blue potion pretty easy, but blue potion only gives you one use, which is very... which is a lot worse, I suppose. Um... And now, after she was nice enough to give us soup, we're just gonna crawl under her little area right here. If I can get under it. Yep, there we go. So we're gonna crawl through this crawl space, and take a left. And you can see there's a little cave down here. And when we come in here, there's a chest, and that chest holds... 100 rupees! Uh, so we do have a use for rupees now, and we actually need quite a few of them, which is why I'm so focused on gathering all the rupees I can at the moment. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get all the ones you need for this. You need 3,184 exactly. And we still are like 900 short, so we gotta kick it up a little bit. And there is blue rupee up here. I don't think that's even worth going for, to be honest. I'm... I have a feeling I'll get enough regardless. And while we're here, you can see we have a beetle ship outside. Let's catch up with it really quick and see hopefully he stops for us. Come on, slow down. Yeah, thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically sell every collectible I have to this guy. You just come in your spoils bag here and you're like, oh, I have 18 skulls, you like these? Yeah, you do. But actually, <laughs> uh, I probably should at some point, but I'm not going to right now, because we're going to get some more before we have to finish this off. So that's how it's going to go down. I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera and show up with a big supply of rupees at some point. But basically, we're just going to sell all our collectibles, but we are not ready for that just yet. Uh, anyway, we need to go to our next Triforce chart location now, now that we have dealt with our errands on outset. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there, and then I will meet you there. Alright, so we are approaching Stonewatcher Island here, and this is our next destination. It is B4 on the map. Wait, no, it's not B4. It's C5 on the map. You're sailing southeast from B4, which is Great Fish Isle if you have it marked on your map. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop off here and scale up this really quick. And we should be ready to go here. So just pop in over here, and there's a big head on top. Luckily we have the power gauntlets, so that's not a big issue. And just snap that, and hop on in. And we are here, we have an exit right there, but we're not going to use it just yet. And you can see we got four doors in this room, and then one locked door. Really quick though, I want to get some bombs going and take out these. I wonder if you can use the skull hammer on those, actually. It might be better. You can. Nice. So, yeah, these are going to drop rupees a lot of the time, and we need rupees right now. Like, I can't... If we don't get enough rupees, it's going to be a pain in the ass later. So I want to get these now. And uh, at this point, this thing is just fighting mobs in different rooms, and <laughs> I think you've seen enough of that with the... Uh, whatever it was, the for the Savage Labyrinth. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this whole thing on speed up. And hopefully you guys enjoy. And we'll probably come back in right when we are about to get the Triforce.
Okay, guys, we have cleared it. Let's go on in. So I believe we have rupees on either side of this, obviously. So let's grab those up really quick. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on rupees so far. I'm not too worried. And let's go ahead and get our Wind Waker going. And you know the drill here. And we have a Triforce chart. So let's go ahead and open that up. Alright, Triforce chart number 7. So we have one more chart to do, and it's almost identical to this one aside from the enemies inside of the area. So I'm going to meet you over there at the other location, and we might speed it up, we might just cut it out all together, and we'll see what happens from there. So I will meet you at the next location, and I will see you then. Okay, well I was on my way to the new location, and as I passed Dragon Roost, I realized we were, we could probably save some time just by doing this part now. So you can see there's a big bomb chain there, and there's a chest, there's a rock with a chest on it. So if we shoot that bomb, it is going to drop us a chest. And if we open up this chest, we get a silver rupee, which is 200, which is exactly what we're looking for. So we are... Let's see, about 400 rupees away from our goal at this point. So that's not too bad. We can still do that. I'm not too worried about it. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to our actual destination now. Alright guys, so we are approaching our next destination here. Got ships around us, but that's not too big of a concern. And we're just going to come right up here to these trees. And do what we've done in the past, just hook shot up to them. Not too worried about it or anything. Just took shot up. We gotta get a little closer before we get shot, preferably. Come on, a little closer. No, that that do it. Oh crap, I didn't mean to jump out there. Alright, hook shot, please. Now. Go! Why am I not going? Go up, go up. There we go. Alright, good. Now we're now we're smooth sailing here. So you just want to hook shot up all these platforms really quick. I think there's an electric guy behind me, but I'm not too worried about him. And if we hook shot over to here, we can just drop down this hole. And now, when we get in here, this is a nearly identical room to the one we did before. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of business here, and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so we finished up that dungeon. I also took the time to break those pillars a few more times off camera. So we have enough rupees for what we need to do now without having to pawn anything off or anything. Which makes things a little bit easier for us and saves some treasure hunting on recording. And over here, this guy, I meant to rescue him a long time ago, but my plans with him didn't exactly work out. Like I wanted to use his uh, Game Boy Macadam... M compatibility mechanics but it wasn't working out so I never bothered to save him but now we have to out of necessity so if we just let this guy out here 
he's gonna walk really slowly and then he is going to talk to us a little bit and give us the tingle tuner as soon as he ever decides to give it to me yeah <laughs> that's awesome how he poses in the background yeah but he is going to give us a tingle tuner which we cannot use because I'm running an emulator and I couldn't get it working and now he is also going to give me a tingle chart in a minute here come on buddy wait there's more Dun, dun, dun. Yep. You wanna come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Alright. Then he poses again, and we have the tingle chart, which is gonna tell us where his island is. Not that I didn't already know. I know where his island is. So, coming out of here, it's a pretty short boat ride. I'll probably still cut it out just for the sake of time, though. If you ever need help with charts, don't forget. Uh, that's kind of a foreshadowing thing to. Well, it's supposed to be a foreshadowing to the future of the game. You're meant to find this guy pretty early on. But I've intentionally avoided him up to this point. So now, let's just head back to our boat. And I'll show you where it is on the map. It's right here, is where Tingle's Island is. So I will meet you over there, because I don't want to put you through the sailing. Alright guys, so approaching Tingle's Island here. And we got a mailbox talking to us, but I think we may need to pay for that. Wait, no, no, this is a uh, message from Grandma, I believe. So let's go ahead and check that really quick. Oh, two letters. Yep, Grandma, Grandma, Grandma. Thanks for the money. You always, I'm pretty sure you always get 20 rupees from her, so I, I suppose waking her up earlier would be better than later. 201, so would that leave me with, that wouldn't leave me with enough, so no, we are definitely not getting that. That would be a pain in the ass. So first thing we need to do on this island, well the only thing we need to do on this island really, is get all eight of our Triforce charts translated, which are going to cost us $3.98 per chart, which is why we need so many rupees. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know what, I'm not even going to speed this up, I'm just going to cut it. He's basically just going to go through this stupid talk over and over again, and he's going to translate our chart, and we got to do it like eight times. It's really, really tedious. I'll just show it to you once and then I'll cut the rest out. Become readable. And we can read the chart. Yeah, fancy. So I'm going to do that seven more times and I'll be back. Okay, so our Triforce charts have been bought up and everything. Got 178 rupees left, so yeah, it's good that I did not do that thing. What? Oh, hey guy. I guess I'll just shoot him. Thank you. I might, uh, it's tempting to do something with that chew jelly, but it's not really worth it. Um, so now, if we go into our charts here, we can open our Triforce charts, and when we do, I believe that will mark it on our map. No? Damn. <laughs> uh, well, I have the locations, but I swear they do mark themselves at some point. I never actually noticed it until I had already figured out where the locations were, though. You can see they're going to give us all these spots here, and it's going to like show you in more detail, but I don't really care about the detail, I already know where they are. So let's go back to sea chart. Yeah, I guess it's not here, maybe if we get in our boat or something. Uh, but regardless, I'm going to go ahead and head to the first location, and I will be back. Okay, so we are at our first destination, Great Fish Isle. On the map is B4, and it's actually a warp point. So this is a real easy one. And we can go ahead and get our hook on the bar here. And put our sail somewhere else. Where's our sail? There it is. And we should see a beam of light. And I believe it's right around the back here. But I might be wrong. Oh, there it is. It, they're, they stand out pretty well. It's kind of hard to miss them. So if we come right around here, it's going to disappear right when we get closer to it, but don't worry. Just stop it right about where it is. Oh, I overshot it a little, but it might still work, we'll see. Hook. Just hold down X, and if it worked, you should pull up a chest. That is not a chest. Um, yeah, we got to move back a little bit. And for oh, shit. We just brought up a giant squid's head. 
Alright, uh, let's just go ahead and hook down right here, and this should be it. Come on, please. Yeah, there we go. So we got our chest. And we're gonna open it here, and you'll never guess what's inside. A shard of the Triforce! Shocker there! So that is our first location, and let's quickly get the hell out of here before that squid kills us. That's actually a pretty good way to do it. If you just catch the chest really quick and then spam the Wind Waker, you can usually get out without getting shot out of your boat. So our next location is Gale Isle, which is right up here. I'm going to do the sailing off camera, but it's right above Windfall, so yeah, I will be right back. Okay, so we are approaching Gale Isle. It looks like we got one ship that's going to be resisting us here. So we got to make this quick. Just go right up to the light source. And don't drop the sail until the last possible moment. I think we're right about here. And we just need to grab it really quick. Come on. And we should get our chest if we just open it up like that. Come on. There we go. So really quickly we're going to open the chest and at this point I'm going to be spamming Z just so I can immediately pull out that Wind Waker because there's a good chance there's a bomb coming right at me right now. Nope, not this time. But there normally is actually. Last time I had a freeze framed one right behind me during this. So anyway, I'm going to go to our next destination and I will see you there. Okay, and now we are back at Stonewatcher Island. Got a few ships to dodge here so again, got to be pretty careful and hopefully not get shot before we get this Triforce chart. Stop about right here and go down really quick and hopefully we can grab it right away here and just get out. Yep, got it. And obviously this cutscene's gonna go through the exact same thing. Triforce shard and I will see you at our next location. Okay, and now we are at none other than our home island outset again. We come here a lot lately, but just come right up here, and this one is pretty much uncontested, so it's not too tough to get it. Stop about right here. I think that's about the spot. Please be the right spot. Okay, cool. So we got it, and it's gonna open. I wonder what's inside! A Triforce Shard. I will see you at our next location. Okay, we are, our we are at our next destination. I can't make words. Uh, I truthfully don't remember the name of this one. Um, but it is, what, I think G6? <laughs> yeah, let's go with G6, and it is directly east of Forest Haven. Come on, please be a Triforce Shard this time. Or not a chart. There we go. Oh wow, I just skipped the animation somehow. That was kind of cool. Okay, try for shard. Now let's absolutely hammer the Wind Waker, and I'm gonna head to our next destination. I will see you there. Okay, so our next one's at Triangle Island, the south, the southern one, right down to the southwest of the Tower of Gods. Please. Thank you, God. Damn, that's gonna be annoying. Gotta speed that up or something. Maybe I'll just cut in right here. We found it, guys! <laughs> yep, we got it. Took forever, but we got it. So I'm gonna go to the next destination now, and I will see you there. Okay, so we are our next destination. It is north of Dragon Roost. And we should be approaching it any second now. Yep, here it is. So we gotta avoid the bomb ships and hopefully get this one a lot faster than last one. So let's get right over it. It's right there. I can see it. I know where it is. It's right about here. I know I heard it right there. Or I know I saw it. Just give it to me. Right now. Please just be... Yep, yeah, thank you. First try. That's, that's what I'm going for here. And this is piece number seven. Dun, 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 dun. We got a Triforce Shard, number 7 to be exact. I will see you at our final destination. Okay, approaching our final destination here. This one's a bit of a pain in the ass, but hopefully we can do it without taking out every single bombship here. 
So, you're kind of in this little fortress area, you can already see the light. So it shouldn't be too hard to get. But it can also be a major pain if you do it wrong. So it's right about here. Let's see if we can just grab it really quick and get out. Come on. Grab it. Grab it. Did we get it? Come on. Yes! Okay, that is our eighth and final Triforce piece. So we have a Triforce of Courage. Well, THE Triforce of Courage. There's only one. Uh, but we have it. So there we go. That's awesome. And see, we get a nice cool cutscene here with our full Triforce. Well done, Ben. With the shards you've collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule quickly. And quickly we will make it to Hyrule next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I thought it was pretty fun. It was kind of a pain in the ass on some of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be all for this episode. Next episode, we'll pretty much have a couple more and then we complete the game. So I will see you guys next time.